I remember. Uh, yeah, Shalawan, we back. This will be the little last part of the video. But uh, right before the last video cut off, I was trying to make a point. But that was, uh, but yeah, we out here on Christmas Day teaching, like you said. We out here afflicting our souls. <laughs> we out here in this freezing iceberg weather, ice cold, sub-zero temperatures. But uh, <laughs> it's our Christmas Day, but and like the brother was saying, uh, the people in America, their holidays are in direct opposition to the Bible's holidays. Like, you got holidays in the Bibles that require us to afflict our souls, like uh, the Day of Atonement. You got to fast for 24 hours, right? You can't eat for 24 hours. But uh, America's holidays are the opposite, like Thanksgiving. So you got to see how much you can eat. Stuff your face until you puke, you know? But, uh... Like we've been out here teaching against Christmas all day because everybody knows that Christmas is a pagan holiday. It's not in the Bible. It's nowhere to be found in the Bible. You know, it ain't nowhere in there. And guess what? Most people, they going well, you can teach them until you're blue in the face. And they're still not going to listen. They're they going to keep celebrating Christmas. They're going to keep celebrating Easter. They're going to keep eating goddamn swine's flesh. And they're going to keep being wicked. Okay? They're not going to stop. You know what? The only time they're going to stop is when the Most High puts them to death. And when the Most High uh, uh, brings that fire to the earth. And when the missiles get shot. He's going to bring that destruction. Then they're going to die. Because these these people, they're, they're assholes. Okay? And, and they're not going to be able to see the pro Because we finna go into the kingdom of heaven. And that was my point I was about to make. was uh, Just like in the land of Egypt, when Israel... <laughs> prophesied to the wind uh, but when Israel was uh, when Moses led Israel through the Red Sea out of Egypt he killed the Pharaoh and his army but when they got to the wilderness Israel did evil on the side of the Lord they worshiped the, the bull they worshiped Baal the devil pretty much right and then you know and they kept being evil uh, the Most High gave them manna from heaven and they was complaining saying that wasn't good enough He's like, give me some meat instead. And the Most High gave him meat, too, you know? And he just kept complaining and they kept murmuring. You had uh, Israelites try, try to overthrow Moses. So the Most High said, no, the hell with this. He said, as a punishment, all, all the old people, none of, none of y'all are going to see the promised land. I will make you wander around in the wilderness for 40 years and 40 nights. And all you're all, you're all going to die. And right here in the wilderness, except for Caleb and uh, yeah, except for Caleb and Joshua, they were the only two that were allowed to live and go to the promised land. Everybody else had to die, and only their children were the ones that went to the promised land. So you can see how that's about to happen again. It's about to be another exodus, but you can see how a lot of these people they're gonna have to die. They're not gonna be allowed to enter into the kingdom of heaven in their current state in their current form. They gotta die. You can see, you can see that. They're going to have to get burnt to a fucking crisp. They got to go. You can't take these people into the kingdom with you. They're going to have to die. And they're going to come back in the reincarnation in the kingdom. But that makes sense. It, it's Most High did it once before pretty much. You know, it ain't going to go down exactly the same way. But, it's, you know, there's no new thing under the sun. Because this shit got to be destroyed. Yeah, the, they ain't go, the Most High gonna cancel Christmas. He gonna cancel America. He gonna cancel two thirds. He gonna cancel Esau and all you heathens. The you false gods. Huh? The false gods. <laughs> the fucking Santa Claus. Your Christmas tree. Idols. All that. Yeah, cause Christmas tree's a goddamn idol. Y'all sitting decorating it. They leaving cookies out for fucking Santa Claus. That reminds me of that Bell and the Dragon story. That Bell and the Dragon story is a Santa Claus story. It's the same thing. Mom going there eating cookies. Yeah. You, your parents would leave cookies out for Santa Claus, and that's something they actually did in the Bible. They would leave out cookies and cakes for, for the gods. And then when everybody was away, the priest would come and eat it. You know, but pretty much that's what the parents are doing with the children now. Tricking them, saying, oh, Santa Claus ate the cookies. That's fucking evil. You know, I mean, it's just cute, and it's just ingesting and fun, though. That's what it was. Well, just having fun. It's just cute. This is no harm intended. Okay, no harm intended. Tell that to the missiles. You know what I mean? Harm intended, you know? The, mu the missiles is coming, man. The fire is coming. I wish it would come right now. They got, they 
got heated up. Turn up that heat, son. <laughs> so you got any final words or whatever? You wanna get out of here? Yeah. It is kind of. Hey, it is what it is. You got anything you wanna say? We're gonna say all praises to Yahweh, some Yahweh side. We're gonna say Shalom.